Friday, 16 of March, 2023. We have uh, this week at Bungie. We're gonna go over that today. And also we have uh, an odd fix that happened this morning. So we'll go over that all together. Uh, pretty awesome. Let's go over the odd fix first. So basically we had odd fix 7.0.0.5. I don't know if you saw it today, but we had a, a server maintenance for Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 and also the odd fix for Destiny 2. So we had some issue lately, so that's why they fixing it. <laughs> So first of all, what we start with is the seasonal exotic activity. So animation change made to the data collection boss encounter in the variable exotic mission uh, that had like the potential to cause issue with photosensitive player. Okay, maybe there was like some flash or something like that. Interesting. Player's journey. Uh, increased drop rate of exo exotic armor in Legend and Master Lost Sector when playing solo. That is great because that's always good to get more drop. Funny enough, all the Lost Sector I did, I got like a pretty good um, like drop. Like I got like a piece of armor, so I don't know. Maybe it's going to be even better, so that's great. Fix an issue that prevented the Vex incursion countermeasure weekly bounty from be setting at rest. Okay. Uh, fix an issue where players uh, on their alternate character could not progress the All of Hero intro quest after interacting with the statues early. Okay, so there it goes. So now you can finish it. Any player who ran into the issue may not now progress normally. Easy, that's awesome. UI made an adjustment to out the return to orbit option is trigger after completing a specific battleground. So I guess now we're going to be able to do it without issue. Uh, previous implementation enabled mistakenly skipping and a mission cinematic when returning to orbit for the commendation screen. Oh, okay. So it's going to be an easier transition or something. So gameplay investment, armor, fix an issue where some artifact armor mod sorry some artifact mods were not properly processing anti processing anti barrier capability so i guess now the artifact mods are working better or actually working hunter fix an issue where a volatile brown granted to the uh, guild falcon Akbar exotic chest were not providing void weapon with anti barrier capability oh that will explain some of the issue okay Armor Scavenger mod, fix an issue where Jotun would get an intentional boost in ammo practically in PvP with the Solar Scavenger mod equipped on the player's chest armor. Well, Jotun again, um, great, they fixed that. <laughs> Put the toaster down, yes, exactly. Uh, moving on, a weapon, fix an issue where the Winter Bite Exotic Glaive was doing more damage than intended to target. Yes, so the Glaive was crazy amazing, that's why they disabled it for the day one raid. Uh, pretty interesting that they fixed that. Titan, the bonus to Glaive melee damage grant by Exotic Synthocept Gauntlet has been reduced against both Combatant and Enemy Guardian. What? I used that on the day one raid, uh, Synthosep, because it's so great, um, but now they nerf it. Ah, oh well, well, uh, hopefully there's not going to be a big change to it, so we'll have to see. Fix an issue where Lightfall version of the Inquisitor and Mindbender Ambition Shotgun had the incorrect magazine per. Oh, okay, so maybe they added like uh, the proper magazine per. Okay, we'll see. Fix an issue with Grand Overture, blinding effect applied to other source of splash damage. Yes, that's another a weapon they uh, disable for day one raid because you could just have it equipped and use another arc um, uh, weapon and you will like create a splash, uh, the, the blinding effect basically. So that's pretty good. Uh, they fix that. Uh, abilities, strand. Increase uh, the internal cooldown of thread of ascent fragment for two from two to four seconds. 
Yes, the threat of Ascent Fragment, that's the one where like if you use your grenade, if you grapple, it will reload your weapon. So uh, I guess maybe too many people were using that, like firing a rocket, just spam it, cancel it very quickly, fire a rocket, maybe that, that's why. Um, yeah, okay, that's kind of good, I guess, uh, or that's bad. <laughs> Strand, fix an issue where after a player grapple uh, to a throat tangle, the berserker into the free aspect will fail to activate on further tang tangle detonation. Okay. Uh, strand, fix an issue where the suspending detonation from the Broadweaver uh, Minspud invocation aspect was not properly stunning. Unstoppable champion. Okay, nice. Solar, fix an issue where the radiant effect was not increasing the damage of strand weapon. Oh, that's great. Now they fix it. Uh, strand, fix an issue where the thread of a generation fragment will stop functioning after the Silk Strike Super disactivation when er either the Shackle or the Threadling Grenade is equipped. Huh. Interesting. So that's good. Uh, fix a bunch of issue with the Strand, as you can see, one with the Solar, which is technically a Strand also, because it's affecting Strand weapons. So they sort out that part, that's awesome. Power and Progression, Guardian Rank. To more closely match the goal of the Guardian rank, we have reduced the requirement commendation score to complete objectives across all Guardian rank. Yes, because I think I'm still stuck at rank 6. To get to rank 7, I just need the 750 commendation. Uh, I think I'm at close to 400. Uh, I know a lot of people went into the... Um, what's the place there? Um, the blind well and uh, they kill themselves at the beginning and then you can give a accommodation to each other uh, just to farm that because it was like a pain to get I guess so uh, guardian rank rank 8 objective required tier 3 difficulty or higher fix an issue where only tier 4 or higher apply towards the rank progression so there we go they reduce it accommodation player can no longer offer accommodation to other following a fail mission activity there you go that's what I was talking about you kill yourself so you don't need to do the activity and you can give each other accommodation uh, so I guess uh, now we're gonna have to complete the activity to get accommodation so all right good general I uh, fixed an issue where guardian and their weapon were not rendering properly Effectively making it appear as invisible when in game. Yes, I got this. Oh my god. I got this uh, playing PvP the other day and everybody was invisible. All I could see is their gun and then my gun was invisible. So when I was aiming down the scope, I had to guess where the, um, <laughs> the reticle was. It was so funny. Uh, I recorded, uh, I'll show you that on um, th uh, Sunday. It's pretty funny. Uh, but I was able to achieve what I needed to do, like bounties and tree runs just to get my pinnacle. Uh, Twitch gift sub bounty reward now correctly appear in the crypt pad. Crypt art. Oh, there we go. So they fixed that. So that was the odd fix. A lot of uh, fixing. Uh, Pretty cool they did that. I'm pretty happy that they uh, fixed some of the strand issue. And now we're gonna move on into this week at Bungie. So this week there's like a, re a reminder of what happened last week. So uh, I know last week I wasn't, I didn't provide that. But if you wanna have a look there, so sneak peek at upcoming season of the Deep Quest. Um, a trial of Osiris is back this week. Yes, so Iron Banner was supposed to be active starting on Tuesday, but because of the issue with the accommodation and also like player not loading, they wanted to push it to next Tuesday. So that's why Iron Banner is going to return on next Tuesday. This weekend we have trials. So if you're interested, tomorrow after reset, it's going to be a trial of Osiris, and now they fix uh, those issues. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be good to go. There was also a Prime Gaming reward. So, sorry, if you 
if you go check um, uh, Prime Gaming, if you have Amazon Prime, you can claim some uh, loot. So go have a ch uh, look there. Uh, and they have a new player's uh, guide. So uh, I think it was last year. So when Watch Queen dropped, they came out with this video, but now they came out with an old guide. Uh, so if you're a new player to Destiny 2 and would like to find out what the hell is going on with the story? Well, you can go have a look at the guide. It's pretty nice. They compile everything in there. There's some video you can watch. Um, pretty neat they did that. But for this tour, what we're gonna be covering is the World First Race Winners, uh, Art of the Light, a developer inside video, uh, update on commendation and guardian rank, uh, have you played a new exotic quest? Trial of Osiris, Iron Banner, update for the des uh, from the Destiny player support team, and the movie of the week and art art of the week. So let's jump into it. So they're uh, they are the champion, my friend. Yes, they are. So uh, there was no stopping the champion uh, that won the Root of Nightmare World First Race. Congratulations one more time, Team Ard in the paint. <laughs> For those curious about the team, how they work together uh, to finish first and how they play the game, go check out the interview with them. So there's like another part of the, um, just below the TWAB, you can go look at the interview uh, for uh, the world first, who uh, completed it and how well they did. So pretty cool, they did an interview with them and to check it out. So it doesn't matter if you play along or and try the best to best the best of the best or if you prefer to relax and watch a few stream to enjoy the experience and earn some cool and bland. Raid launch launches uh, are unforgettable for the studio and this, this is one of extra special as we broke our viewership record on Twitch. We hope uh, that players, more than 190,000 of you who beat the final boss during contest mode uh, are feeling good right about now. Time to go com complete some challenge if you want to improve your chance of getting a new conditional final Liti exotic shotgun. So yes. Uh, if you completed the, on day one, uh, you should have got the exotic shotgun. Uh, pretty interesting. I haven't got it yet, so so we're gonna have to work into RNG. <laughs> so there we go. Basically, this is the um, uh, the clip they created together. Uh, basically, uh, they show all the art piece they created before putting the Lightfall DLC together. Um, and in this they explain where they come from and how um, like how they came up with those ideas right so pretty neat uh, they show all the art piece before they put the game together so pretty neat uh, that's pretty good they added that uh, go have a look it's pretty nice moving on update on commendation and guardian rank so I think we just quickly talked about that during the uh, outfix but here it is, so uh, it is lower it way down, look at that, 6,000 for rank 11. Hell, I saw some people in the thousands, so they were probably farming for that. But now look at it, um, 460 for rank 7, 790 for rank 8, that's a big difference, it's almost the rank before. So pretty cool to reduce that because I think like people was just going to farm it anyway. So that's the feeling I have and I think that's what happened uh, for people to get accommodation. They just decide to go ahead and farm them, right? Good work assistant. So if you haven't done the secret mission yet, just go in the EDZ in the Gulch and you'll find those um, Vex glowing thing, you have to capture six in a row, you have 30 seconds in between each one of them and after uh, picking up all six, uh, you, the sky is going to appear weird, you're going to go towards that tunnel and that's where the activity is. Uh, the special glaive is actually very good, the uh, Vex caliber, uh, basically if you fire shot while your shield is up, 
you will get an over shield and after this you hold your shield and just slash away um, you keep maintaining your own over shield it's a void over shield so very good weapon there's a, a nice build with the titan you can use for that uh, just to maintain your void over shield all the time and yeah go check it out very worth to have a, a this blade exotic exotic blade <clears throat> The Saint Await, so yes, Trials of Osiris is back a week early and then initially planned. Uh, that was due to some issue with uh, you know players not showing up in game. So uh, thank God uh, they fixed that today. So uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, that being said, there's going to be a lot of new weapon in there. One of the weapon we're looking to go for is the Immortal which is a new SMG void um, and it's uh, it has better stat than the Iculus uh, version 3 uh, which which is pretty like a very good uh, SMG for PvP and if you combine that with like the Titan uh, legs with the, the Peacekeeper uh, and make it like awesome so I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try to get that weapon because it's going to be very quite interesting if you can get like range finder with kill clip on this weapon oh uh it's going to be as good as uh what was the other smg before see i don't even remember anymore but <laughs> let's go for that smg so check it out this weekend we're gonna have trials uh should be interesting uh we'll see how it goes uh there's this season there's no freelance so um Hopefully their matchmaking is going to work properly, so we'll have to see. So that's going to be something we're going to have to test it out. But that being said, on Tuesday, we're going to have an uh, Iron Banner. Yes, so we're probably going to do that for our community night on Tuesday. Play some Iron Banner, and we're going to have like you know new uh, item in there. I don't know if there's like new weapon, but probably we'll have new weapon. So yes, uh, here, right here. <laughs> Uh, so we got the Joran's Claw, it's a pulse rifle and Bite of the Fox, a sniper rifle. Uh, Bite of the Fox is not new, uh, it, it used to be a uh, gun available before. Uh, I don't know, the, they basically updated it and being able to have new perk on it. So we'll see how it is. And that being said, uh, so they're gonna, each week they're gonna run with different um, uh, mode basically of Iron Banner so we're gonna have Iron Banner Control week 6 we're gonna have Eruption and week 9 we're gonna have Fortress great there's no uh, what's the name of it to Eruption Eruption is when you get killed yeah you get a boost yeah that's what it is Eruption is fun Fortress it's alright you gotta capture an area and the other one, uh, like, uh, no one really like is to collect the ball. Now it's a 3v3. I don't know if you can play 6v6, but hey, oh well. Uh, pretty happy that they are uh, showing us. Oh yeah, Rift. That's the one I was looking for. Uh, so Rift is not uh, doing it. I guess, like, Iron Banner Control is a basic, like, back to normal, right? So it's good, because it has been a while we haven't, like, done that. Moving on, we got player support report. So here, uh, contest mod and blame. Um, so if you've finished with uh, a nightmare raid uh, from March 10 to March 12, so you should have get the emblem, uh, which is uh, pretty cool to have. Uh, looks pretty nice. I pity that to see that a lot of people got it this time, so that's perfect. Twitch drop emblem. So if you're one of them that was watching the stream. Uh, if you watch for the first 45 minutes, you will get like an, a specific emblem uh, from the Twitch inventory. So if you go have a look, make sure you collect it or claim it, and it should show in game. So then, so then, uh, yeah, so you should be good to go. I think it was the first 45 minutes, or it was like first two hours or something like that. So there you go. Destiny 2 Ritual Reset Daylight Saving Time Change. Yeah. So if you're like me living in Canada, we had daily light saving. Uh, we switched back, so now for us to reset at, in the EST time zone, it's at 1 p.m. So um, 
very good because I kind of like that. Give you more time in the morning to like uh, before reset, right? No knee shoe, so as you can see, there's a lot of no knee shoe. <laughs> oh my god, some players are, are unable to unlock the EDZ. What? How do you... it doesn't unlock? Ooh, that's gonna be sucking for the new player. So then you cannot do the seasonal activity. Uh, some players are unable to unlock the throne world. Oh my god. Well, as you can see, there's a bunch of different issues there. Uh, mark all scene button in the collection no longer functioning. Uh, non lightfall quest show up under the lightfall quest category. Some of those are like not too bad, other are like wow. Like if you cannot access area after buying the expansion, this is painful. So something to watch out. Hopefully they're gonna fix that next Tuesday. Hopefully they, no, not hopefully. I, I hope they're gonna. They they will fix it by Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, they got to because like they're gonna lose a lot of new player if the, this happens. So uh, some player on Steam are unable to progress past the class icon loading spinner on launch. Prince sent us a DX tag on L. So I noticed that uh, even on um, playing on GeForce Now, I've noticed that it was loading for quite some time. So maybe there's an issue because. You know, they added more stuff to the game, it takes longer to load, but hey, uh, that's what happened, right? The game's getting bigger and bigger, and the engine cannot work as well, so that's what happened. Some art of the week, uh, some nice drawing that people did, uh, posted on Twitter, pretty nice. Here we have uh, Rolk, uh, Nazarek, and... <laughs> Callus, I guess. <laughs> Nazarek is like, who's that guy? <laughs> uh, it's some movie of the week. Here it sounds like Among Us. Uh, uh, because you, now you can get um, some icon, right? That's interesting. Oh, he's actually dressed like uh, Among Us. That's so funny. <laughs> That is funny. They actually did the Among Us, the round table. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, here's another video that's on uh, Twitter, and that's pretty much it. So that was a short like twab. I think uh, right now there's not a lot of news. Um, it's just whatever it's coming and a lot of fixing. As you can see, this is going to be great. Uh, I think uh, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, people are not going to get stuck at rank 6 anymore just because of that. So that's great. Good to see they fixed that. I'm happy uh, to see that the game is running a little bit better. It's always good to see that, right? So, yeah. Um, that's it for the TWAB today. I hope you liked the video. I hope uh, you enjoy like, watching this and uh, me going through the TWAB and seeing what's new with Bungie. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and uh, make sure to keep watch and hit the not notification bell for an, any like update, any new video we putting on our channel. So um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys uh, in game. Where do you Take care. come from? Where do you come from? Where do you go?